Hello, and welcome to a short presentation of Hector. I'll be guiding you through the basics of our asset management software. Hector is an asset management software that allows you to track and manage different types of assets. By doing so, you will save up on time, energy, and money by limiting loss of equipment and by having a better overall view of your asset value, status, location, and more. On Hector, you can have different types of users, whether that be administrators, staff members, or employees. By the way, you can have as many as you want. No matter how big your company, Hector can fit your needs. All these roles have different permissions that are entirely customizable to your needs. Also, our inventory has four different sections that we will be able to look at in depth shortly. Let's now take a look at the software itself. Welcome to Hector's homepage. Here, you'll be able to find different types of alerts depending on settings you choose to activate. Here, you've got alerts for upcoming maintenances because you can program reoccurring maintenances for specific parts. Here, you've got alerts for minimum quantities if you decide to set some. These alerts will help you replenish stocks. Over here, you've got different menus. These tabs will not necessarily all show up because some of these are add-on modules. If we look at the inventory tab, you'll notice four different terms. These are important to understand because they're the platform's foundation. You've got your stock rooms that are areas of permanent storage. You've got your categories that are larger groups of similar parts. You've got your parts where you'll start talking about models, colors, and product specific details. Then your assets are the count of each part. If we look at a more specific example, let's head to categories. Here, we've got an example of four different categories. We've got computers, harnesses, helmets, and shoes. If we decide to open up computers, you'll be directed to your category card. Here, you'll find important information regarding your category. Then you can see every part that belongs to the category. Here, we've got the Apple MacBook Pro, and we've got a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. These two parts contain multiple assets. If we look at the assets, you'll see all the individually tagged computers. For each asset, there are different types of manipulations that you can do. You can view your asset, you can edit it, you can print barcodes that look like this, or you can also print QR codes that look like this. If you decide to move an asset, you can choose its destination. It can either be a stock room, a user, a place, a customer, a vendor, or a contact. If we decide to use user, for an example, you can choose in a list who you want to assign your asset to. Let's assign it to Shelly. Then you can just head down here and save. On your asset card, you will now see that your computer is in Quebec City with Shelly Smith. You can also decide to move your asset to a different location. By clicking here, you'll be able to move your asset and you'll be able to choose a place. Places are areas that you decide to add in the platform under the resources tab. You can add as many places as you want. You now need to choose your place and go ahead and save. Your asset is now no longer with Shelly, but is in room one. By clicking on room one, you'll be able to see all the assets that are in that room. On your asset card, you'll also be able to have a history of all that's happened with that asset. If you go to history, you'll be able to see all the manipulations that were made. So we created this asset and we moved it twice. You can also create a work order for this asset or you can perform a maintenance. If you decide to perform a maintenance, you'll be brought to a new page. Here, you'll be able to choose a staff member. You'll be able to choose your maintenance type and you'll be able to choose the task performed. Then you'll be able to choose your asset condition. You can add a note and you can program your next maintenance date. You can also add a document that is linked to the current maintenance. When creating a new part, you can also decide to program reoccurring maintenances. All you have to do is choose your category, give details about the part you want to add, and over here, you can add a maintenance frequency. By doing so, you will generate alerts on your homepage one month prior to the maintenance date. The three buttons on your right are a way to deduct assets from the inventory. You can remove the asset from active inventory, you can consume an asset, or you can mark it as lost. If you wanna take a quick look at where your assets are, you can head to your parts, then you'll be brought to the part list. You can head down to your different parts and choose one. 
This will bring you to your part card and you'll be able to see where every one of your assets for this part is located. So you can see that you have five in stock, one that is assigned to a user and one that's out on a loan. You can also notice on the top right hand side, a green circle indicating the total value of all the assets belonging to this particular part. If you decide to activate depreciation, you'll also have a circle next to your total value indicating its actual net value. You can also click on the different tabs and you'll be able to see to which user it is assigned. Here, it's Shelly. Another interesting feature in Hector are the reports. If you go to the reports tab, you can have different types of reports. For example, let's head to inventory reports. On here, you'll be able to have different types of inventory reports. For example, your value. If you click here, you'll have the value of all your different assets. You can also have reports for different types of characteristics. Please note, all these reports are exportable to Excel. These are some of the most essential features I wanted to show you in Hector today. You'll also be able to have a lot more features with our add-on modules. To learn more about Hector, please visit our website and feel free to call us, ask for your free trial, or head down to the contact form and send us a message. Thank you for watching Hector's introduction video. We're looking forward to having you as future business partners. Have a great day.